The real problem with falling in love with a narcissistic person is that you often don't realize they are narcissistic until it's too late, and the victim finds themselves in a terrible state of psychological and emotional devastation. Another issue with falling in love with a narcissistic person is that you can't easily prevent yourself from getting involved. Once you're in the midst of the relationship or shortly after, you may completely lose the ability to act or decide to stop what is happening until the situation resolves on its own. Thank you very much for your support. If you find this content helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for helping share this message with those who can benefit from it. Even if the woman or girl whose life has been shattered by a narcissistic person tries to stop herself or prevent herself from being in such a relationship, she often finds it challenging because narcissists are exceptionally skilled at hiding their true selves. They present a completely different persona, and the victim has no idea what is happening. The narcissist is adept at performing contradictory actions during the course of the relationship. Despite her efforts to avoid falling in love with him, she encounters various stages of the relationship with the narcissist that could make her reconsider a thousand times before giving him a chance. Unfortunately, she has no idea that she entered a game with someone who is an expert player. It becomes difficult for her to overcome his manipulations, and she unwittingly transforms into a victim. Even after a long period since the end of the relationship, she continues to live and suffer from the consequences of this game. Within her mind, there is a terrible chaos, haunted by countless memories from that relationship. The victim remains at the mercy of these memories without any control or will, and it happens without any mercy. Moreover, she may see the perpetrator everywhere, or at least find herself thinking about him, even in each encounter with a new person entering her life. She unconsciously searches and looks for narcissistic traits that shattered her in every new person, turning herself into a guard of her own heart. Her sole mission becomes preventing anyone from getting close or attempting to enter it again. This is because she no longer has the readiness to trust any person after the horrifying experience. The lasting effects continue to control most aspects of her life, ultimately leading her to have doubts about everything around her. It becomes extremely challenging for her to consider trusting anyone again after this traumatic experience. Every time someone gets close to her, her heart starts pounding hard, and it feels like an alarm bell is ringing incessantly in her mind. It makes her think a thousand times before considering the idea of opening her heart to anyone again, and ultimately, she completely backs away from the thought. She is afraid to the point of terror at the idea of love again, even though she sees or believes in love as something beautiful and enchanting. Despite everyone's goal in life being to find true love or to be loved and desired by someone, unfortunately, for her, love has become a feeling associated with pain deep within her mind. In her last experience, when she loved, she didn't find love in return. Instead, she faced constant humiliation and emotional abuse without any pause or mercy, causing her to forget the feeling of true love. She expected the person she gave her all to reciprocate with love and care, but he chose to turn her life into a living hell instead. At this point, she starts feeling inadequate or unworthy, fearing that she is not good enough. This is because she did not feel the appreciation or importance she anticipated in her relationship with this person, and the idea became deeply ingrained in her mind. It's not just that. She was constantly told that she has no value or direct importance, and all the problems that occurred were allegedly her fault. This belief strongly takes root in her mind, convincing her that she deserves what happened. Consequently, she can't escape the feeling of being unimportant or inadequate after the end of this relationship. Her life turns into a deadly void where she doesn't know what to do or even have an idea about her own feelings. The only emotion she experiences is fear, and despite being painful, she prefers it because it gives her a sense of security. She leans towards isolation, not wanting to talk about herself or what happened with anyone. Moreover, she has no inclination to share any details, as she's not willing to face blame from others for continuing in such a toxic relationship. People who hear her may not understand the real reason that led her to continue in such a relationship, or they might understand that she never had the ability to leave it in the first place. Consequently, she starts isolating herself from others. Even though solitude is the only way she sees to escape from people, it becomes frightening at the same time. 
When alone, painful memories resurface, and she is unable to decide whether it is easier for her to live alone and avoid people or to take the risk of connecting with others again. She feels like she has lost her former self, becoming someone entirely different. She reaches a state of despair from her attempts to return to the way she was before the toxic and destructive relationship with the narcissist entered her life. At this moment, she believes that she has no chance of smiling again, and she thinks that what happened will haunt her for the rest of her life. However, nothing in this world deserves for things to stay this way, or for her to live in such a terrifying manner. She doesn't need to think of herself as unhealthy or unworthy. She doesn't need to bid farewell to her old life before the narcissist. Instead, she needs someone who can help her think about how to live in a healthy way and overcome this bitter crisis. She needs to understand that what happened doesn't define her and that no one breaks because of a narcissistic person. She needs someone who can show her that she hasn't lost her self-esteem and that there are still many good things within her. She needs someone to assure her that she can continue her life with these positive aspects. She needs someone who treats her as a priority, showing her that she is not crazy or mentally unstable. She doesn't need someone to erase the painful past. Instead, she needs someone to try to help, understanding that she is flawless despite any flaws. Anyone in the world, man or woman, deserves to be treated with respect and care. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions about the channel, write them in the comments. If you have any advice or ideas for improving the channel, send them to me.